Hi, thank you for watching and showing some interest. Um, I've not really done one of these videos before, so this is like a first for me really. I don't really talk on camera. I sing on camera, but I don't really talk on camera. I'll be doing a bit of singing later, so carry on watching. Um, but yes, I don't really talk on camera very much because I don't really like the sound of my voice on camera. I don't know if it's something that other people feel, but I hate the sound of my voice on camera, but oh well, I'm doing it now, so. Um, I just want to talk about a few things that are going on, really. Um, the first thing, the main thing, really, is I've got a new single out on Friday. It's called I Could Be The One, um, Friday being the 5th of April. It's called I Could Be The One. And um, the way this came about is it's a song I've I've already recorded for my album, uh, but if you don't know, I'm doing an album. Surprise! I'm doing an album. So um, I'm doing an album, and this song's on there, but it's very different. The album version's very different from this version. Um, I won't tell you how. Just wait until the album comes out, and you'll see. I'll probably include this on the album as an extra track, this version, the single version. Um, I came back from holiday only literally a couple of weeks ago. I don't, not even two weeks ago I don't think it is um and I was just playing at the piano and I thought I like this I'm going to record this so I pretty much recorded it in one take and I thought I'm just going to leave it I'm not going to do anything fancy I put a little bit of reverb on it I didn't add any harmonies I didn't want to change anything about it I just wanted to leave it how it was because you know it, it was natural um, I'm pleased with the end result. Um, it's not going to sound, you know, like the most professional pop song out there because, like I say, it was done in one take. There's nothing fancy about it at all. But that's what I like about it. it it's real. So it even got to the point where I was just singing anything at the end. I mean, I'm singing the right words, but as far as the melody goes, I was just going on with my own diva thing. I was turning into Whitney, you know, by the end of the song. And you'll hear that on Friday when you listen to it. Um, <laughs> so it's probably something I couldn't replicate again because I just completely made it up. I was in my zone, you know, singing. Anyway, um, so yes, that comes out on Friday. There's a lyric video that comes with it on Friday. Um, I might release some snippets. Don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's Wednesday now, isn't it? So anyway, we'll we'll see. Um, the lyric video for the last song I released, Sugar, um, I got someone else to do the lyric video for that because I am absolutely useless with computers. I have no idea what I'm doing. Absolutely none at all. So with me having a restriction on time this time round, I thought it's either not going to have a lyric video or I need to do it myself. So me being me, I was like, I want a lyric video and I want it yesterday. So I decided to make my own lyric video. And you know what? I'm pretty pleased with the result. I thought, given my capabilities and my experience, I thought it was going to be absolutely awful but I'm quite pleased with it you know it might not be fitting terribly to the song but you know it does its job and if people want to know the words they can know the words I mean like I say this song isn't perfect so you might not get all the words I think you will get all the words by just listening to it but the lyric video will certainly help with that um so yes the lyric video is coming out with it I did it myself everything's all out on Friday um, this song will be on the album, along with the other songs that you've heard, you know, recently. In the last few months, I've, I don't know if you know, but I've done a lot of, I've released a lot of sort of live performances. I've released a lot of songs, which you can download everywhere. So I've done um, Sugar. Sugar came out not long ago, a couple of months ago. That's on the album. Um, and Change, that's on the album. Um, and Bruised. I did a live performance of Bruised a couple of months ago as well, and that will also be on the album. Um, all of those songs, actually, I've worked with um, someone called Carol Archer, so check out Carol Archer on Facebook and on Bandcamp. She's got quite a big back catalogue, so you could check out her music, but she produced Change and she also produced Sugar for me and co-wrote Bruise with me. So she has had quite a lot of input so far. 
um, which might do in the future with the rest of this album. We'll see how it goes. Um, but at the moment, I'm pretty much working solo on everything. Um, and it's making progress. Um, I'm quite happy with the progress I'm making. I mean, it's not it's not going to be... It's t It takes a long time. You can't just rush an album. And also... I'm a normal human being. I'm not like these famous pop stars who, you know, have a lot of time dedicated in the studio and things. I've got my normal life. I'm a normal family person. You know, I've got family. I have start full-time employment as a nurse um, this month because um, I've just finished my nursing degree. So I'm excited about that. But so I've got to find the time to put aside to make music. It's usually, you know on a day off in the daytime or of an evening i'm sorry to my neighbors if you can hear me singing at the top of my lungs um i try not to do it at night time too late um but i've not had any complaints yet so it's all right um but yeah so music's a big part of my life so i'm not just going to ditch it i'll carry on but like i say because i do a lot of other things it's going to take a bit longer than i would have liked really um, so yes, the album's coming. I'll keep you posted about more things about that, you know, as and when. And that's not the only thing I'm working on. I'm not just working on this album. I'm working on other musical things. So I'll tell you about those as well nearer the time. Um, but it's quite exciting, really. It's, it's you know, I'm doing things. Um, for those of you who haven't, you know, heard my music before, I've... I have done a few things in the past, you know. So I was in a band, or well, I still am in a band. We're just sort of, at the moment, taking a break. We've not quit or anything like that. We're just not doing anything at the moment. Um, so I'm working on solo stuff at the moment. But the band was called Bad Betty. Um, we've recently just released our collection. It's basically two albums melded together um, everywhere. So it's like on iTunes. So it's called Bad Betty, The Collection. <laughs> so if you want to have a listen to that, um it's not got my name on but that's me singing um for a lot, a lot of the songs and my friend um the other half the other half of our duo julia she's she's the female vocalist on there and she plays all the you know guitar and things like that she did pretty much all the work i just played the piano and sang um and we wrote all the songs on there as well so yeah you can check that out and also i've had you know i've released an album before i've got an album called burn so that's on itunes and spotify or wherever you choose with a few singles um yeah all that's out there but this album's sort of the follow-on to burn um i'm not i don't know whether i've said the name of the album or not i'll do that later um, but yes, so this album's sort of my next solo adventure. And it's coming along nicely. I have all the songs sort of written. I had a big back catalogue of songs that put sort of trying to fit them all together. And a lot of them are very personal. A lot of them are, you know, reflect things that have happened in my life or in someone I know's life. And, you know, we all sort of connect with the lyrics and songs and things don't we I mean I've had comments and inboxes and things like that from people saying oh that song you posted or this song on iTunes whatever I really felt you know really connected to it it's felt like you wrote it for me and things like that and that's always nice to hear because it's nice that someone can relate to it I mean you may not have written it with them in mind but they're 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 getting something from it you know it could be helping someone through a hard time and i think i think that's a positive thing so yeah that's good anyway i'm gonna stop rambling on because i'm just i could go on all night <laughs> there's me saying oh i don't normally talk on camera i'd have been talking for nine and a half minutes <laughs> so um i'm gonna play a little bit of i could be the one uh, bearing in mind, this is just me at the piano, so it's not going to sound great. I mean, the recording sounds a lot better, obviously. Um, but I'm going to play a little bit of it. It's different. I'm not going to play all of it. Um, I'm not going to do all the big diva bits. Um, you'll hear that on, on the recording. So it's out on Friday. Um, have a listen to it, share it, like it, comment, whatever. I hope you like it. 
I could be the one who always tries to guide you. I could be the one who's always right beside you. I could be the one who never tried to hide you. I could be the one who'll always try to find you. I could be the one to keep you safe and warm, to never do you harm, to hold you in my arms. The one to try to calm the storm, I could be the one, the one, the one. Mm, interesting. It was didn't go as well as I thought it would go then, but hey, that's live. We're live. Well, we're not live because I'm pre-recording this, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that comes out on Friday. Sounds different. I didn't play the piano exactly how I played it in the actual recording because I don't know what I was doing. I just make things up as I go along. That's what I do. But anyway, I hope you look forward to hearing it. Thank you for watching again. I might do some more of these videos, perhaps not as long. Um, but yeah, see you soon. Bye.